Disclaimer number one, I am not a professional, I wing it. Disclaimer number two, the problem is not solved by the end of this video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're dealing with a PlayStation 2 that um, was given to me because I was told it didn't work. Or it didn't work well. Um, I was having issues with the display, so he said. Um, he said it was freezing and hanging up at the, like, the browser screen. So this is, you know, before you even put in a disc or a memory card or a controller, it's basically the home screen of the PS2. And he was saying it was freezing up or there was a display problem going black. Um, he told me he had tried a second AV cable. Couldn't figure it out, so he gave it to me. As you can see, what I've done here is powered it on, started it up, and it's already frozen at the main screen here. Um, hit reset a couple times, tried to get it going. You'll see that there's there's orbs there, that spinning ring of orbs. It's supposed to keep spinning, but it, it freezes. So here's just a before shot of the unit before disassembly, and here we go. Let's tear into it. Uh, as you can see by the warranty label, it's not yet been opened, ever, so I'm the first guy in there. Um, this is not intended to be, by any means, a how-to on tearing down and, and, you know, opening up a PlayStation 2. I just did a quick filming of what I was doing, sped it up, and um, I haven't torn down too many of these units. Um, as far as I did today. In the past, I had just, you know, opened it up uh, simply to dust things out, but um, but this time around, I took it all the way down to the board. So I'll just let that roll for a bit um, and enjoy. Yeah, I decided to cut out a bit more of me struggling. Here's an aftermath shot of everything just thrown all around. Um, a general dusting, you know, of, of the parts, uh, just with compressed air to remove the dust. Um, what surprised me about this was um, there wasn't really any thermal paste on the, the GPU or the CPU or anything like that. There was just like this magnetic rubberish type that was kind of just laying over everything. So what I'm doing here is, because the guy had thought there was a display issue, um, I was just going to reflow the solder on a couple of these points here where that um, that video cable plugs into the to the board. And um, boy, I struggled with it, let me tell you. The, um, the heat required to get these things flowing was all the way up. Like, I, I, I had to turn it all the way up to the max on my soldering iron. Uh, after struggling with it for a while on lower temperature settings that I've used on other electronics. So whatever uh, whatever Sony had been using on their board or whoever designed the board, man, it, it really needed a lot of heat to uh, to be able to work with it. So like I said, I was just reflowing these points um, in an attempt to, you know, just make sure that 
the joints were good and there wasn't any cold cold joints or anything like that um But yeah, going back to, I thought I was going to have to replace some thermal paste, you know, maybe solve some overheating issues, but there wasn't anything like that. Uh, another post I read online was talking about replacing the, the, the battery in here, whatever it's, you know, the CMOS or whatever, um, whatever remembers the, the date and time. They said if that was low or not working too well, it might cause hangups and freezes on that main screen. So I went ahead and replaced it because I had one lying around. It's a common CR2032. And there she is, all back together, slightly cleaner. Um, here we are for testing. I tested it on the original Sony composite cable, as I did at the beginning of the video, on video two. Powered it up, and crossed your fingers. Nothing happening, which is concerning. Like, why? Why is it being so weird? I do want to mention that the fan was running. Um, the fan that's, you know, exhausting the uh, internals of the unit is working, it's functioning, blowing. There we got a little activity. The orbs still froze, though. Uh, at least we got to the boot screen, you know, the... It's just, it's not working normally. Something's off. So, like I said, I, I, I reflowed the solder. I, I had a, a general look at the pieces and the, the you know, the capacitors and stuff just to see if anything was visually obnoxiously blown and I didn't see anything um, replace the battery reflowed those solder points um, here I am trying a different set of cables that I had I have the actual Sony component cables as well so I was doing that on video 3 um, no change so I was probably chasing nothing uh, playing around with that display port which is fine but um, still having hang-up problems. It's coming in and just freezing up. I am still able to manipulate a little bit. Um, go in there and set the new time on the new battery, yada, yada, yada. But um, it's not working normally. I haven't even tried playing games um, because I wanted to try and solve the problem first with less variables. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to solve the problem if... If any of the viewers here have ideas of, you know, what else I should try next, or what things you've done to fix your issues like this, uh, or what you may have read online, uh, those are the stats there of all the the version. It's the SCPH30001 on browser 1.20, CD player 1.20, driver PlayStation driver version 1.10, and the DVD player 1.30U. I don't know if you can even update those drivers or BIOS or anything, but um, yeah. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, sorry I couldn't solve it today. If you have any ideas or comments, feel free to leave an idea below and uh, take a look at it and consider it. Thanks a lot.